all right we are heading down the hill because our neighbor is playing our videos over his speaker pointing here at our house he's been playing music like that for two years now it's us so I don't know what else to do we're gonna go ask him to stop this hopefully doesn't get ugly he's trying to get attention This is so stressful, everyone. All the time. Yeah, you threatened him. We you threatened to him. kill our son. Um. I was a little bit nervous. I actually came outside, turned on the camera, didn't know what was going on. So, and then I didn't see you. Come on, I don't want to wait. Dogs, Tell me what. Come on, in. Come on, in. There it is, record is on. Hey everyone, welcome to It's All Grady, I'm Denise. And I'm Marcel. Hey guys, welcome to our homestead. Yeah, welcome. If you guys don't already know, we are a small family that gave up the hustle and bustle of the big city, Denver, Colorado, to move to rural America and start our homestead. Yeah, and welcome to our farm, everyone. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, guys, so usually we would be very, very happy to share with you our house building, adventures and our farming adventures and even our broken washer adventures this is going to be an adventure guys that we are not happy to share with you we are not happy to share this we wish this was not part of our life right now seriously like i don't want to share this but we've been pushed to the point guys now we have been pushed to the point where we have no choice and this is such I mean, it's such a big part of our life now. We have no choice but to share it because what, what the result will be is insincerity. You will not feel what we are saying if you don't understand where we're coming from. So what we're going to do today is something that we wish we didn't have to do. And we're going to share with you the nightmare of our adventure. Yeah, the serious nightmare, guys. We moved away from the city to to be away from these nightmares, and we moved right into it. You know what I'm saying? So, I, if, if you happen to be listening, if you didn't want to be part of this, you should have stopped. All we ever wanted to do is be friends. That's it. We are not sharing this to disparage anybody, guys. We're not trying to put anybody down. We are just at the end of it. You understand? You know what I mean? Do you guys feel me yet? So, all right, guys, so re usually I want to jump and dance and make jokes and let's all have a good time. And this is who I am, guys, whether it's because I'm insecure or because I'm very lively. I still like to joke all the time. This to me, though, has it has stripped the joke from me. Right. It has robbed us of our happiness. And it's not fair. It's not right. It's not OK. It is not OK. All right, guys, I've cried about it enough. Let's go in because it's getting dark out here. Thank you, Lord. It has been quiet for two evenings straight. Thank you. We have finally come to a, a situation or a place right now that we can actually talk about this without having a terminal meltdown. Right. So how about we go inside, guys, and we're going to run through some of this stuff. Yeah? Right. And now we're going to get back to building and farming. Please let that be our lives because we did not give it all up for this. You know what I'm saying? Right. We ain't playing games out here, guys. We gave it all up for this. Sorry. Keep your voice 
Sorry, guys. We gave it all up? You think we gave it all up? Traded it all in for this? Nah. We can do better. We can all do better. Yeah? yeah. I'll assume my responsibility too. I can do better. All right, let's go talk about it, guys. Let's no. go talk about it. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna take a couple seconds here to give you a brief description of, of why we're here, you know? So we said it in the beginning of our video, right? We moved from the big city. Well, we moved from the big city because we wanted a change in our lives. We wanted a change and that change was, uh, it was a picture in our mind of what this change was. We were gonna come to the country where we could be peaceful, tranquil, happy. We could farm our land and not be forced into things that we're not comfortable with, right? Like there was big reasons for it. And we just really wanted something new, right? So when we got out here, we really, really did expect that to be what it is. Like we turned every, we walked away from everything. And what a huge surprise we were in for, right? So f one thing I want you all to understand is I'm an American and I believe that Americans have rights. And I even support the rights of the people that disrespect us. I still support their rights. But one thing you, got, you seriously have to understand is your rights do not infringe on mine and they're still your rights. Now you are taking my rights away. Right? That's not American. We can't do that to each other. That's not what this is about. It's about mind your own business. And I mind my own business. And that's what we do. We came out here, guys, peaceful. We're very peaceful people. Right? We don't cause problems for anybody. We've never caused problems for any of our neighbors. We've never called the cops. We've never complained. We've never played our music loud. We've never disrupted them into the night. We've never done anything to warrant any type of retaliation. However, this has not been our experience, right? It's been harassment after harassment. And we ignored it, right? We were like, ah, oh, maybe this is just country. You know what I mean? Like shooting oxygen bottles, right? You're shooting oxygen bottles and they're flipping into our property on fire. This is a laughing matter for you. We joined in your laughter until you shot over our property because we were lighting fireworks and you threaten us to shoot at us because of this, right? This is where I start wondering, you know, what, what is this? What, what is this that I'm experiencing? This isn't what I thought it was. We just wanna be friends with our neighbors. Community was huge for us, right? Never experienced this in my life. I lived in the city for a long time. Another thing I wanna mention is we did not bring a city life and a city attitude out here. We came out here with what is the stereotypical vision of what country means, at least to us. We came out here to raise chickens, right? We came out here to garden. We came out here to be left alone. We came out here to love the ones that we love and not have to be pestered by the ones that we don't. This is America. You can be over here and I can be over here and we don't have to be like mad at each other, right? I believe that you should be able to believe and do what you want until you force it onto somebody else. That is not okay. So that's where it started, guys. It started, we invited our friends over and you shoot at us, right? That's not cool. And then you threaten us. That's not cool. We let your music go on. We discussed this, guys. I discussed this with this individual, right? I'm like, hey, guy, we know what it's, what it means to live next to bad neighbors. We know that. We know what it means to be good neighbors. We never bothered them, right? We never bothered anybody. We weren't like, turn your crap down, right? We weren't like that. I didn't say that to them. When I finally got to the point where it's like, man, this is, maybe these people just don't understand how rude it really is. This ain't country. This is garbage. That's crap. That's trash. 
Don't treat people like that. You're not better than anybody else or more important than anybody else. I don't care how long you've been here. You've got no seniority over somebody else's life. You cannot bully people, guys. It is not okay. Right? At least I believe that. I don't know what everybody else believes. Maybe we crying. But I just, I tried to squash this. I said, check it out. You know, if you continue to do this, that's fine. That's fine. But we can't be friends. I thought really, I really, really thought it ended there. I thought we were going to be friends. That's all I really want. I want to be friends with my neighbor. Mind you, community is important to Denise and I, right? This is what we long for, is community. We want that. We want to feel comfortable and safe and happy. And we want to be a part of something that makes sense to us, right? But you can't find that when it's a constant barrage of attacks, which I never really considered until the day I noticed that this individual speakers were pointing directly our direction. I'm not talking about little boombox speakers, guys. I'm not talking about your, your average speakers. These things are like 1,000 or 1,500 watt speakers. Two of them. Sweet, man. Blast your stuff, right? At our house, really? That's direct harassment. You can't do that to people, guys. That's not okay. That is not your right. It is not your right to rob somebody else of their happiness or the American dream. You are taking that from somebody else, thinking that that is okay. And that's not. That's not a good neighbor. That's not a good friend. And that's what we strive to be, guys. We just want to be better. We want to be able to give something back that is worth it and not be selfish and think that everything should revolve around us. Not cool. And if you want it that way, it's fine. Go find your little spot and do that. This is America, baby. You can do what you want until you bring it to somebody else. That ain't cool, man. So we've tried as we really have, you know, it's music all the time and we deal with it, right? And it's shooting all the time. We're in the country, guys. This is America. We believe in your right to be able to defend yourself. And since we're in the country and there's no laws against it, you have enough land, I have enough land, you have common sense to not shoot towards our property. I figure you're just observing your constitutional right. And I believe and will stand up for that, right? I believe in that wholeheartedly. But when you shooting right after you've threatened my son, you are no longer observing your constitutional rights. As a matter of fact, I feel like you are forcing me to start entertaining my constitutional rights because this is no longer somebody just shooting. You are threatening us. That is a threat. You do not threaten somebody's life. Go get your guns, start shooting endlessly and think that I'm going to believe that it is anything other than a threat on our life. Am I wrong, guys? Am I wrong for this? Is this okay? Is this country? No, it's not okay, and it's not country. You know how I know? Because we have neighbors all around us, and they're country, and they're Americans, and they don't bother other people because they don't care whether you like it or not. They stay to themselves because that's American. You understand? That's observing your freedom. You understand? Your freedom doesn't own you the right to, to infringe on somebody else's freedoms. That's not okay. You can do better. We want to be that community, right? Do you understand that, guys? Like, I really wish I didn't have to have this conversation. It's painful for me because I feel like I'm chastising in a way, right? But I'm not. I'm not. 
congratulations. You are now a serious threat to us. We truly believe you when you threaten our lives and our sanity. We believe that you are now our enemy and you're our neighbor. We don't want that. Does that make sense, guys? You know what I'm talking about? Like, just when we thought it couldn't get any worse, right? Mind you, we had already addressed this for what I believed was going to be the last time. We actually addressed, listen, you are pointing your speakers directly at our property. This is, it's on the edge of your property, pointing at our property. You are doing this intentional. And yeah, it was like, I am sorry, right? I'm sorry for doing this to you guys, I'll stop. Okay, this is the last time you can apologize to me. Don't do it to me no more. Shame on you the first time. Shame on me every time after that. This is why we're breaking our silence. We have no choice. It's time to take a stand to protect what is ours, guys, right? This is our journey, right? And this is our life. And we love sharing it with you guys. What we don't love is when we can't invite our friends over for fear of some sort of insane retaliation that makes no sense whatsoever. People, we are so peaceful, it's ridiculous. Like you don't even barely know we live here, right? The only reason you know is because we're on YouTube. Otherwise, we make no noise. We bother no one. We mind ours, guys, and we really truly just wanna be happy. We want to have joy and peace. This is what it's about, guys. Right? We can all get down with that, I think. Maybe your peace and joy is loud music. There's always a way you can enjoy the things that you enjoy without infringing on somebody else. It is your responsibility. Those freedoms become, it's a responsibility, right? You need to protect them like they mean something. Otherwise, you think it's all about you. It's not about me, guys. It's not about you. It's about us, right? We're trying to bring this together. We're trying to do something different, something that means something, right? We lived in a city, guys, where nobody knew anything about anybody else. And you could be passing this person every day five days a week at the same time and never speak a word. I can attest to this, I did it. I had neighbors for eight years, I don't know their name. That's the way we lived, we didn't wanna do that. We wanted to come to a place where we could come together, right? And we believed that we had found that place. And I'm still not abandoning that, guys. Our dream is ever alive, right? We wanna do this, this is our dream and we're gonna fight for it, I promise you. And guys, right now, I'm just gonna take a quick second, because if you're not already subscribed to our channel, right now is a perfect time. Like, I'm not trying to get off base here or anything, but your support is important to us. And ride with us, join this journey. If you agree with us, stand with us, you know what I mean? We can do this together. Plus, it helps us, guys, we love it, right? We wanna make something out of this. That's what this journey is about, doing something different. Join it with us, guys. Give us a thumbs up, you know, all that good stuff. All right, back to the serious matter. You know what I mean? Guys, we crossed that last line just a few days ago, okay? And the moment we did, the individual threatened my son with his life. Told him, I will take your weapon from you and I'll kill you. That's not okay. Maybe you don't know who we are. Maybe you think this is some kind of joke. You cannot say that to us and think that we are not going to believe you. We believe you. Once again, congratulations. You are now a real threat to us and you're our neighbor, right? We're neighbors. That's terrible, folks. We don't wanna be like that with our neighbors doesn't matter how close or far your neighbor is away. We should always strive to be c connected because one day we might have to lean on each other. Right now there's no shoulder 
for any of those to lean on. Not when you like that. All right, guys, so here we are. We're at the end of it, right? You've made baby cakes cry. I've already told y'all. If you don't know, you can go check out some of our other stuff. I make it very clear. If you make my wife cry, we ain't friends. We ain't friends. Is that your goal? You want to hurt my wife like that? You think, you think it's okay? Here you go. This is what it is, guys. Every time those guns go off, we look for our dogs. Every single time. We were never like that. This is America. Do what you want. But our dogs are let off of our property on a couple of occasions from other dogs. And you feel the need to shoot at them. That is not okay. Our dogs are our family. That's what it is. Now, I understand that you have a right on your property, but our dogs aren't doing anything. I'm gonna continue to believe that you will not kill my dogs because you said you won't. But I have a hard time because you've not owned any of the other things you've said. Right? Can you live like that? Is that how anybody wants to live? Is that what we gave up our life to come out here for this? No, guys, we didn't. And we ain't gonna let anybody rob it all from us. But it is very difficult and it's very painful, right? It affects our, our lives in its entirety, right? I've watched the smile be wiped from my wife's face. You did that. Shame on you. Is that your goal to hurt people? Is that what we're doing here, folks? I don't think so. I know that most of everybody is going to agree with me that that's not okay. It's not okay. Now you're not in control of her emotions or feelings, but when you're poking intentionally, you're doing it. That's you. That's not okay, right? And we've done what we can, guys. Like, we've blocked the comments, right? And we've blocked the channel. And they still find a way to come on sneaking in, you know, in the back door another way and thinking that it's okay to do this over again, you know? And we do apologize to you guys who have actually noticed it. Some of you have, right? And, and we know that you know. Right? And they know that everybody knows too, right? You want to complain about it and pretend like they're doing something wrong. Our viewers aren't doing nothing wrong. Our subscribers, our friends, they ain't doing nothing wrong. They've never done anything to any of our neighbors that would hurt them, ever. Right? So, last night, guys, or the night before, it's been a couple nights. We've had time to decompress, if you will and start making some rational decisions. How about that, right? Because in the heat of the moment, things can get, they can escalate fast, especially when we have enough of a track record now that we can see that this is not normal, first and foremost. It's not okay, and it's not just simple and harmless. This has escalation and real threats. So what do we do? Right? What do we do with this? We've solidified and concreted in that this is a real life threat. When the creepiest thing in our lives happened, guys, this individual thought it was okay to broadcast our content in the dark, outside with 2,000 watt speakers or 1,500 watt speakers maxed out. Guy, that is creepy. That is the stuff scary movies are made of. Congratulations. You are creepy. You have scared us. We are in fear for our safety. Congratulations. We're peaceful people. We don't want problems. The comment to my boy alone, threatening his life. You've, you've crossed a line. You don't do that to people. Do you guys? Do you, do you guys think that that's okay? It's not okay, man. We came out here, guys, to build a house and to build a farm and to build a relationship with you. 
right? Well, the idea about building a relationship with you came later. We had different plans, but our friends, the community that we locked into, they encouraged us to do this right here, to share our life. We didn't want to share this with you guys, I promise you. We have no choice. We have no choice, but I'm gonna do it for real. You guys are getting the real deal here. This is not, we cannot hide it anymore. We can't, it, it has affected our content even, right? We continuously struggle with sanity because it's relentless, it won't stop, right? And we can all have excuses, guys. I'm certain there's reasons for everything and your reasons are probably as important as they are to you, right? But when you're affecting other people's lives, we don't care what your deal is. Make up whatever you want. I'm this, I'm that. There's no justification for it. You know what I'm saying? Not for this. You threaten us. No, man. You know, we, it's not like the usual for us, guys. This isn't the first time for us, right? We came out here with this grandiose idea of what it means to be a homesteader and an American in the rural America and we start meeting people, right guys? And it was a very difficult situation for us to learn that we're not all on the same page here. Some of us is only pretending, right? You know who you are. That's cool though, you know? You just gotta pretend over there, man. You can't pretend over here because that's what we do, right? We invite you into our lives. We find out that you are so different from us that there's no commonality here whatsoever except for maybe our professions right now, but we can take our ball and go home. We don't have to face it, right? Which is what we've done, right? It hasn't been all rainbows and butterflies and flowers. It's been very painful on a few situations, guys. We're very grateful for the ones that we've locked in with. You know what I mean? But we, we, we do honestly create these situations for ourselves by being, I don't even know how to label it. I don't wanna say too open or too it's me, guys. I'm like, ah, oh, you're my best friend. You got so many great things about you. I believe you. And then I find out that it's not true. And all your labels are not true. And they don't excuse the way you're treating people. Does that make sense? That's not cryptic. You know what I mean? Even those people are probably watching us. You know what I mean? And you know who you are? Don't creep on us. We took our ball. We want to go home. Maybe you don't put that in there, I don't know. But in the end, guys, oh, the, mo the big point is, is those situations we were able to separate ourselves from. It's not so close that we can't separate ourselves from it. And if they, can, if they was to continue to push themselves, we would just expose those ones too. But we really don't do that, right? We just wanna do our own thing and love you guys for loving us and have a good time and pound nails and hang pigs upside down and get beat up by them. Who knows what's gonna happen? You know what I mean? Baby Case catch a 20, 30 inch catfish out of the pond. That's our life. We love it, right? And if it's affected, then we try to separate that from us. But this one we can't separate, guys. We can't because it's right directly across the street. So this is one of those situations where I have to reach deep down inside of me and say, I have to find a way to not only mitigate this, but then hopefully in some fashion create something between us that resembles a friendship where we don't hate each other. And this will be my responsibility because, because I'm the one that is living in fear now. Does that make sense? So what we're gonna do guys, first of all, if you guys have any recommendations, we'll take them unless it's violence. We're not we're not interested in violence. We're not interested in hurting people, right? That's not it either. You know, we want to meet, we want to meet it appropriately, right? Maybe back in the day we called a posse. You know, we got a big gang now. How many of you are joined? No, I'm just kidding. We calling on you. The gang, the pack. No, I'm just kidding. You know what I mean? Yeah, guys, so anyways, 
our conclusion is we need to we need to protect ourselves, right? We really do need to take this serious. We we would be we would be the fools to not take this serious. So because we are taking this stance and even sharing it with you guys, we have no choice. We're going to share it with the people that it's pertinent to right now, which is going to be law enforcement. We are going to make a report because we have no choice. You've threatened us. So if we protect ourselves from a threat at any given time, we want to make sure that we have what would be considered, I guess, like the proverbial receipt, right? We're, we're crossing all the T's and dotting all the I's, right? Because we, we really want to just live peacefully without fear of harassment or threats of violence, right? We ain't down with that stuff, folks. We peaceful. Look at me. Do I look dangerous to you? Come on, man. I'm, I'm as soft as medicated cotton. Until you make baby cakes cry. Then I'm not nice anymore. You know? I don't want to be that. Don't do that. What if it was your wife? What if it was your family member? Would that be okay? It's not okay. So let's bridge this. Let's end it. I'm gonna make the moves that I'm gonna make to protect my family because that's what we do today. We protect ourselves because it's a crazy world, guys, where upside down things can happen. This is okay in some people's minds. You know what I mean? But it's not. It's not okay. You know what I mean? Just be cool, man. We can all vibe together on some fashion. Yeah. And if we can't, that's cool too. This is a big country, guys. We don't need to be up each other, forcing each other to, to endure the other person's beliefs or or lifestyles, right? Shoot, man, we moved out to 25 acres. We're building our dream house on the back of the property, guys. On the back of the property. So when we turn our tunes up, we ain't bothering nobody because that's who we are. And this message, guys, this video isn't to disparage anybody. Maybe sometimes people believe that that stuff is okay, but we're here to take a stand and say that it's not right and if we ever going to be cool then it's not but one thing we denise and i baby cakes and i and my son can no longer do is be silent about it if you a disruption like that then we really do we have no choice you've become part of our lives you forced yourself and we're sharing our life and now you guys know and I'm hoping that we can just move on from this, man. And you guys are going to like and subscribe and be like, yeah, they're crazy, but they're building stuff. And we love them. And we love you back for it. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't crazy maybe a little bit. Yeah, it really does, guys. Like I said, we're very peaceful people. And it really does take a lot for us to be like, whoa, back up off of me. It really does take a lot, right? Those, those big things, that's what dictates it, right? This journey hasn't been all bad, guys. It has been mostly good. We love the community that we're building. We love the community that we're building with you guys, too. We know that most of it is just social on the, on the you know, the whatever, the YouTube and stuff like that, right? But sometimes we get to meet some of you guys and we love it. And even sometimes we don't get to meet you in person, but we still build a bond and a connection, right? I have some people that I now would drive across the country to, to back up if they said they needed my back, they needed me to get their back. I would be there. Try it if you don't believe it. You know what I mean? We've started building bonds, man. We cherish the family that we are building. We love those guys, man. These people have become our family. We're very disconnected other than the social media, but that's because everybody's doing their own thing, right? But these people have become very important to us and they share the same values, it seems like. They share the same values that we do, right? And that's what community is about. Right? You don't just pick one thing, guys, and be like, okay, I'm gonna 
run with that and pretend like that's okay. Because what you do is you disapprove of the 99% of the rest. That's not friends, guys. That's not community, guys. You know what I'm saying? We are in this together. And we are not that different, right? What do you want? Same thing I do. You want your kids to be happy. You want your, your family to be safe. You don't want to have an empty belly. You know what I mean? You want to jam a llama to some good tunes, man, whether it's copyright free or not. That's all I'm saying, you know? So we're going to do what we do, guys. And we're not going to continue this conversation unless it, unless we're forced to. Then you guys hear about it some more. Maybe you'll love it. Maybe you love it. You know, some people like that. That spicy side, you know, of the journey. But it is really part of our journey, guys. After this, we're praying. We're praying there's no more retaliation. We're praying that we could just farm and build our house and joke with you guys. Man, I got so many of them. A lot of them are gonna be the same ones you've heard, maybe. I don't know. I'm a creature of habit. That's what it is. All right, guys, so we're just gonna wrap this one up because we still need to make some really hard decisions, guys. And by the time you see this, maybe we will have already made those decisions. But any decision that we make will not be made in malice. It will be for fear of our own well-being and our own safety. And we will take that very seriously. So, but what we wanna bring next time, guys, is some happiness. You know what I mean? If you, if you have a mind to, Give us a big thumbs up, guys, if you like it, right? It's not gonna be like this all the time. Thankfully, please, dear Lord, don't let it be like this. Give us a thumbs up, man. You know what I mean? And then share our content. Really, I can't even tell you how important that is, man. When you guys share that stuff, it, it helps us, right? It helps our reach. And that's how we're going to make it out here. That's how we're going to be able to continue to share this journey. And you guys are all part of it. You know what I'm saying? We're in this together, you know? And if you hit those notification bells, guys, I'm, actually, I think there's only one. But they're going to let you know when our videos are, are available for viewing. That's pretty sweet, man. That way, it's kind of like getting the TV guide. You're going to know, except for we're not as predictable as the TV guide. Right? If you're not already subscribed, guys, right now is a perfect time, man. Help, help us on our journey. Join this journey with us, guys, so we're, we're not standing alone. We already have a pretty massive army with us, guys. You all are awesome. Thousands of you, and we love it because you guys love us for what we're doing. And we're going to keep bringing it to you real, guys. We're going to show you who we are. Right? We're going to share that with you because you're important to us, too. And we, we really truly believe that we're important to you because you say that we are with those thumbs. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bam!